What is good? I mean, what is really good, my people? It is UK. Troller brother, Dr. Blade, the darkest man. Around us today, guys, I'm here with Casual. Say hi to the people, man. Yo, what is up, guys? Casual here. <laughs> it's great to have you on the channel. It's been a while since I've recorded a collaboration video. It's good to do this again. But today, we are going to be talking about Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Strike, and we're going to be talking about 10 characters that we feel that will definitely be playable on this game. Obviously, the way this is going to work, Casual's going to say five characters. I'm going to say five characters myself. So, without further ado, let's get on with this. So, Casual, who's at your number five, man? I'm going with Hashirama Senju. Now, this is because he's a very iconic character that everybody loves. See, if they didn't have this character in the game, it'd be very disappointing. However, his jutsus are one of the big reasons why I want him in the game so much. The wooden dragon jutsu, most of all, has a big hitbox, a very long jutsu. It can be, it can be used to maybe uh, immobilize giant bosses or the Susanoos, you know, stuff like that, the tail beasts in the border battle. It can also be used to cut off or delay enemies from approaching flags and stuff like that since it is an objective-based game. Mm -hmm, yeah, I totally agree with that. Like, when it comes down to Hashirama being playable, he's a very popular character. A lot of people like Hashirama. And especially with the two variations that they have in um, Storm, they have an option in terms of the playstyle and what Hashirama could be able to do in the game. And if you got Madara, a lot of people will think you got to have Madara. If you have Madara, you got to have Hashirama. Some people may not think that. Some people may think that Madara is more of the important character, which he is. But Hashirama is what made Madara the way he is, so he's, it'll be good to have Madara in the uh, I mean Hashirama in the game. But um, when it comes down to my number five, my number five is Mike Guy, or how some people like to call him when he's in eight gates, Night Guy. He's a character that a lot of people like to see because let's 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 face it, there's not a lot of characters in Naruto that just mainly focus on Taijutsu. You got Rock Lee, and then if you really think about it, you got Mike Guy. And those two characters have similar abilities in terms of what they can do, but Guy can do it to another level and Guy has a lot of cool techniques and he's a character a lot of people like to see. Some people will feel that if you've got Rock Lee, you can't really miss out on Guy. Guy is a likeable character. I like Guy and I'm sure a lot of people like to see Guy playable in the game, but as a whole, I feel like he's a character that they cannot miss and I feel like he's a character that they will not miss because there's not a lot of characters like Guy in Naruto. So. I feel like it would only make sense for him to be playable and he's one of those characters that you've come to know in Naruto games as a stable character, a character they cannot skip, a character that is a must when it comes to him being playable. So Kaz, you got any thoughts on Guy or like, yeah. Guy's gotta be a attack type. <laughs> actually, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. <laughs> a actually, range type, he's range type. You may think this is crazy. But he's got moves like Hiodoro, which are, which is a ranged attack. Maybe maybe he can be a mix between a uh, melee and a ranged uh, character because of course he's got the Taijutsu skills to fight up close. And but he's also got quite a few ranged Jutsus. And since the typing is by Jutsu, maybe he's a ranged type fight fighter because he's got ranged Jutsus. And Rock Lee is definitely a melee type because he's both got melee Taijutsu. And all of his jutsus are pretty much ranged, or not ranged, uh, melee. So I think he might be a ranged character. Hmm. If he is, I will be really surprised about that. But it'll be interesting to see him as a ranged type. But a lot of people will be ranting because Guy, to a lot of people, is seen as a close combat fighter. But who knows? Like, you got someone like Kakashi, who is an attack type. And you know Kakashi can do ranged attacks. Like, there's no debate about that. We all know Kakashi can do ranged attacks. But. It all, know, it all depends on what they're trying to do with the game, but as a whole, I can see where you're coming from, but I'm more so leaning towards him being an attack type, but who's at your number Who's at your number four? For number four, for me, I got Shisui Uchiha. Now, just like Hashirama, he's a very iconic fan favorite character. His role in the uh, genocide of the... <laughs> Uh, Uchiha clan was also very heavy. He could have stopped it all, but Donzo was an asshole. But on <laughs> honestly, his movement would be able to contribute a lot to the gameplay because of his teleportation, if they allow it to be that way, anyways. Um, 
that can contribute very, very heavily to uh, to the gameplay, just him being able to teleport around. Um, his jutsus, he's very likely to be a ranged character because the fireball jutsu and the uh, Halo style, or not Halo style, Uchiha style, Halo dance, uh, also very likely to be ranged. Um, his jutsu, uh, again, jutsu Kodo Amatsukami, is also very likely to be ranged as well. Maybe, if, if he is in the game, I'm hoping that Kodo Amatsukami isn't that broken. Maybe put players on a timeout for maybe 10 seconds, you know, stop them from moving, you know, stuff like that. Nothing too critical. Nothing that will make you drop the controller, but I really hope he's in the game, because he, he is one of my most favorite characters, and I, I just really hope he's there. Anything to add? Uh, yeah, I, I, um, I totally agree with that. Like, the thing about um, Shisui Uchiha, uh, Uchiha and some characters that you pinpoint. Shisui is not necessarily important, but he offers too much not to be included. You know what I mean? Like, with all the stuff you said, he can do a lot of things. His clothing will be dope to use, the way he dresses, everything about him. He offers too much. Like, he, will, he offers too much to the game for him not to be a playable character. There's some characters that are not necessarily important, but because of how much they offer to the game and what they offer to the series as a whole, um, you cannot skip them. And he's a character that I can see them be, see him being playable, and I can also not see him being playable. But it really depends on how many characters they're looking to flesh out and how many characters are, they are willing to put as DLC. Because we know that there's going to be DLC. We know there's going to be um, characters locked behind pre-order bonus. We know all of these things are going to happen. But it all depends on how much they're going into this and how much they're going to go into character creation. If they're putting all their eggs in character creation in terms of detail, in terms of how people can look and all of that stuff, then I can see why the character roster could end up being smaller. But Shisu is a character I do expect to be playable, but who knows what they have planned for this game. But when it comes to my number four, my number four is Rai Kage, and he's a character that I just see as close rage, a very powerful and fast guy. A guy with his lariat and his and his um a massive heavy strong attacks. He's a guy that I can really see being playable in the game, and a guy that a lot of people do like. And um, he's just someone that would gel well with working with someone like Killer B on the game in terms of teamwork, in terms of getting the objective done. He's someone that I feel that will be playable when it comes down to card games. That will be playable. He's he is one card game that I can definitely see being playable. But um, yeah, so who's um, who's at your number number three? All right, so a lot of people are probably gonna disagree with this, but hear me out, Zetsu. Okay, <laughs> now <laughs> Zetsu himself, I know that he's not very powerful. He's not iconic. He barely did anything for like he he's mostly there to gather intel for the Akatsuki. But remember, he's got a lot of abilities that are very interesting and could uh, contribute to gameplay as well. Now, maybe he can be a trap-type character where he places Zetsu spores around around the map or around an objective, and when the enemy comes close, it starts sucking their chakra out and and basically it makes them easier to kill. Maybe even add a slow effect, something like that. And not a lot of characters are able to do that. I know that Toby can do it, or Obito uh, can do it, uh, but. Just not to this extent, it's like, because I know that there's not a lot of characters in Naruto that have this ability or are even able to place traps like this in that level and just like, you know, hide around the map and just do that kind of stuff. But I think it would be very interesting to have a character like that that can do that, that can trap objectives and make sure that enemies don't get close to it without actually having to be there yourself. It's definitely something that I would be very interested in. Maybe a lot of people won't be playing as them, but if Zetsu is in the game and, and is able to do that, I'll play as him. <laughs> ten out of ten. But uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind add? of, I'm kind of shocked about you saying Zetsu because, like, I'm gonna be honest. I do not expect Zetsu to be playable. But your reasoning of what he can do makes him being playable or him being in the game not sound too bad because. Based on what you said, he has a lot to offer, he can do a lot of things, he'll be a lot of um, tricky character to go up against, especially in a heavily objective based game. He's a character that will be great to work on, a, on the same team as. But as a whole, I do not really see him being playable. If he's in the game, I'll be happy. If he's not, that's pretty much what I expect. But who knows, this game has pulled a lot of surprises. I did not think character creation was going to be in this game, but is in this game. So who knows what this game is going to offer us, but when it comes...
Yes, 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 I know, I know, I know. I skipped number three, and the reason for that is the fact that me and Casual, we recorded this video about three or four times, and this is due to the fact that this video was having certain issues. And the issue was the fact that the cool carrot and cutting out. I couldn't hear Casual, it was hard to sync things up because everything we were saying was cutting out. Sometimes I wouldn't hear him say anything and he'll be waiting for me to speak, wondering if I'm still there. There was a lot of issues about this so I skipped out on number 3 because I generally thought I said number 3 already. So number 3 if you guys did not know is Killer B. I later on addressed this later down the line when I realized that I skipped Killer B which you guys will see when you continue watching this video but Killer B is at number 3. The reason is I like Killer B. His um, tail beast is already in this game and since his tail beast is already in the game and a lot of people like Killer B and his fan favorite and he has a lot of diverse movesets I do see him as being a very useful character and a character that a lot of people would use so that is my quick reasons of why Killer B or why I, sh I would like to see Killer B in this but um, yeah back to the video comes to my number two and I, I got kind of two number twos but uh, you're gonna you're gonna hear me out Okay. The first one I'm gonna say is one that I definitely want to be in the game and is one that I will both of them I'm pretty sure that they'll be in the game but I kind of got torn up because they both will be in the game and I couldn't fit them on my list so <laughs> so I went for putting um, both of them. The first one is Lady Tsunade and you know the obvious reason healing type not a lot of characters can heal in Naruto so Tsunade by default will be playable. No one, no one arguing with me on that. You guys know she's gonna be a playable character. There's no, there's no debate. She will be playable because she's a healing type, and she will offer a lot to the team. And I don't think everyone's gonna want to use Sakura, like a lot, or use um, uh, Hinata and Ka or even Eno if Eno ends up being playable. But I can see a lot of people being down to use Tsunade. And Tsunade is a character based on what she can do, which not a lot of people that we've seen in the series can do, what she can do. She's a character that I can definitely see as being playable. I, I, I feel like it is pretty much confirmed, even though they haven't confirmed that I am that sure that it should be in the game. If she's not in the game, I will be, I'll be shocked because she will, she's so important. She offers so much, like she cannot not be playable. Like, you know what I mean? She cannot not be playable. Yeah, like... So if she's not playable in the game, that would be a shock. That would like, be a massive shock. Like, e even... Now, what are you going to say? Even in the very first trailer, we saw that summoning Jutsu was a possibility. So, can you just imagine playing as Tsunade, a healing type, but also being able to summon Lady Katsuyu and have your little slugs heal people too? Like, exactly. That, exactly. That's what makes it even more, like, the reason for her to be playable. Like... There's no other way than her being playable. She's to me, she's pretty much a confirmed character. Based on the way the game is, she is pretty much 99.9% .9 confirmed in my eyes. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> no one can tell me otherwise. Pl plus, she's one of the uh, five Kage too, and I kind of expect all five Kage to be in this game. Like being completely. Yeah, real. <laughs> the only one I can, I can, I, I can see them missing. It's uh, Mitsu Kage and Sushi Kage. Oh, hold because... up, <laughs> hold the phone. If they miss. May Terumi, I'ma throw a fit, okay? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not saying they should, but I can see them doing that. Because they're there, but they're not like, they're not, uh, they're not that, like, they're not like, oh my gosh, wow. Like, they're there, but I can see them missing them out. But the other yeah. character that had a number two is Minato. Minato with Flying Raijin, oh my gosh, like, he's too popular not to, to not to be playable, like, you cannot miss out Minato. Everybody loves Minato. Minato is my favorite character in Naruto. So if he's not playable, I ain't gonna be happy. <laughs> so they better have him playable in the game. And he's someone that I'm confident that will be playable like Lady Tsunade. So them two characters, I am confident they'll be playable. Both of them are 99.9% .9 sure of being playable. But I'm slightly more confident in Tsunade being playable because of her type and what she would offer. Minato, I would see him as a attack type um yeah i'll see him as a t as an attack type in my opinion based on his moves like rasengan and um flying raijin the ability to close in on your opponent and get to your opponent in quick succession and in the game like this uh, with big ass maps flying raijin will be a use a 
very useful jutsu to have in the game. A very useful jutsu. A very useful jutsu to have in the game. So those two characters, I see them being playable. So I'm going to ask you something. What do you think about Minato being playable? You Can you see that definitely happening like I do? <laughs> okay, as far as Minato goes, like... Flying Raijin is definitely useful. Okay, I talked about that in my uh, top five ninjutsus that I want to see in Shinobi Striker. Flying Raijin could be used in so many different ways, like uh, if you guys ever played Call of Duty, it can be used as a tactical insertion sort of, you know, just like placing a Flying Raijin engraved uh, kunai in say like a tree somewhere, or somewhere near the enemy's boss or flag, and next time you die, you spawn on that instead. Or for uh, healing types, this is more for CACs than uh, cast characters, but for healing types, maybe have the Flying Raijin on there, tag all of your teammates, and then if they need help, healing, or anything like that, you can teleport to them and get them get to them quicker. Uh, there's definitely a lot of imp implement uh, uh, implementations. Impl uh, fuck it, I can't even speak English anymore. But, <laughs> 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 but there's definitely a lot of different ways to use this jutsu, and it's very versatile. So, yeah, I got I gotta say, flying Raijin would definitely be a huge plus, and that would mean that Minato has to be in the game. At least either yeah. either Minato or Toby Rama. One of those two has to be yeah. in the game for that Jutsu to be there. Yeah. I'm 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 uh, I don't know. Like I want to say I'm confident with Toby Rama being in the game, but we'll see. I don't want to dive too into that because I don't want this video to be longer than it needs to be. But um, who's your number one on the list? Oh, I was skipping my number two altogether, but <laughs> oh, wait, wait, oh yeah, well, oh, yeah so, oh, so, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I Okay, who's your number two? <laughs> okay, so number two is Orochi Maru. Now, again, he's a very iconic character. Uh, actually, one of the best villains in Naruto, in my opinion. Um, he's just got a lot to offer, like uh, all of the different jutsus that he uses, like all the different forbidden jutsus, like the summoning, uh, well, not summoning jutsu, but yeah, that could be used too. Um, there, there's just a lot of different things that he can do. Um, honestly, I believe he would most likely end up being maybe uh, defense type, if anything else, because he doesn't really fit too much into the range type or the attack type. And he's definitely not a healing type. This guy tears people apart for a living, goddamn. But uh, I feel like he's going to be more of a defense type character, um, just because he doesn't really fit too much into the other types. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Um, when it comes down... To wait, I'm, I'm just gonna make sure of this. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. I did say Killer B right for number three, or did I not say Killer B? You, yeah, you said. Wait, <laughs> I think you skipped Killer B. Okay, okay. So <laughs> if I skip Killer B, you guys know Killer B's um, Shinjuriki is already in the game. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. Gonna... You, wait, yeah. You said you said Killer B. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I'm just making sure. I'm I'm kind. It's kind of late over here. So my bad, <laughs> but when it comes down to my number one, my number one is Madara Uchiha. Madara Uchiha is like, there's no introduction. He's the best villain in Naruto. That like, that's it. That's all I need to say. The only thing you got to debate about what type will he be? Because he's everything. He's actually everything. <laughs> like, there's one character that's everything is Madara. <laughs> I think if anything, throw him into the attack type just because. <laughs> throw him into attack type, throw him into range type, throw him into he, he can do everything. He he he's the complete character. See like <laughs> if you were to base this on like what he can do, he he is hands down can be on a team by himself. Because he can he can offer everything. He can heal, he can um he, he can fight a close range, he can fight a long range, like anything against Madara is his advantage. There's no disadvantage to, to using Madara. The only thing you could say is what variation of Madara are they gonna make playable? But um, yeah, let me let me go to your um, your number one because I know for a fact that you definitely know Madara is gonna be in the game. We all know Madara is gonna. Okay. If Madara is not gonna be in the game, no one's buying the game. That's how deep it is. Okay, so <laughs> let me just add on to Madara real real, real quick. Okay, as far as it. like the variation of Madara, I do not. I repeat, I do not want to be seeing the Susano arms again. Okay, <laughs> Storm, Storm, uh, the Storm games had me using the Susano arms. What I really want is, you know, maybe a Taijutsu Madara, and then maybe he can use his Susano arms as, say, like an ability in the game. But as far as it goes, I really don't want to be using base Susano every single attack. It's doesn't look pretty. But uh, yeah, as far yeah, totally agree. as far number as two. my number one, I'm going with Obito Uchiha. Now. 
Obito, he's not really all that popular, um, to be completely honest. But I feel like having Kamui in there uh, would be very, very good. I know that uh, having Kakashi in there with Kamui is like pretty much the same thing. But having Obito in there, um, he's able to do the summoning jutsu, summon the ghetto statue. Hey, that, uh, that's, that's a pretty, pretty, cool, pretty cool ability, you know, take on the giant bosses with the ghetto statue, maybe. Um, he's able to teleport, obviously. Uh, he can phase through stuff, so maybe that can be his uh, substitution or something like that. Um, he's got a lot of abilities. Like, this man took down the previous Akatsuki by himself. He, ho he had a hostile takeover of the Akatsuki. And dude basically fought Minato to, to basically a draw. Like, almost. Minato beat his ass afterwards, but still. <laughs> yeah, but like, the only reason why he beat his ass was because of massive experience. And Minato is a clever guy. Like he was, he was. Minato a genius. <laughs> yeah, he, he he was. He, Minato was just. He was just amazing. Like in terms of what you can do. But um, here's here's my question to to people watching this video and to you also casual. Will Rin will Rin be playable? Can she not? She. she I, I know a lot of people don't want her to be playable. I know a lot of people don't like her. But the reason why I'm asking this question is. She could be a healing type. I'm, I'm just saying. Like, just give me. You could, you could say a quick minute on why you think she will, will not be playable. Just, just give me your thoughts on that. And people that, that have gotten this far to the video, comment that down in the comment section below. Whether you think that Rin will be playable on this game. But yeah, take it away, Casual. What? <laughs> like, I, I mean, like, say, say if you think like your reasons for Rin being playable or Rin not being playable. Okay. <laughs> Okay, the only reason why I don't want Rin in the game, I don't like Rin. <laughs> but but from like a practical standpoint, yeah, she's a healing type, so she's like you gotta add more healing types. You don't wanna be it you don't wanna have the majority of characters being attack type or range type. You wanna have the balance in the characters a uh, roster just so that we have more characters to choose from. Because uh, let's say I'm gonna make this comparison, Overwatch. Overwatch has one good healer, and that is Mercy. And Shinobi Striker need, needs to have a lot of good healers to uh, keep the balance in because, you know, some people will be petty and not choose a character because they don't like that character. Th that's pretty much what I'm doing, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> Reen, Reen needs to be in the game only because she's a healing type. If she wasn't a healing type, I'd say, nah, get out of here. <laughs> uh, um, a lot of people will agree with you on that, but uh, me, I don't care if she's there. I probably still won't use her. If she's not there, I won't care. But um, as a whole, I want to know what you guys think about this. Leave your thoughts and opinions. Uh, I can't even English, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Leave your thoughts and opinions about that down in the comments section below. Make sure you check out Casual's channel. Link to that will be in the description below. I highly recommend you check that out. And yeah, let me just wrap up this video. So please comment and subscribe. I know I say this all the time, but at the end of the day, I'm just saying, please leave a like rating if you enjoyed this video. And yeah, this UK Chocolate Brother will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Yay. <laughs>